Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video we are solving problem on vector differential calculus. Given problem is prove that del into del of r bar by r is equal to minus 2 times of r bar by r cube. Okay friends, uh, by the observation we can say these are applications of uh, vector differential operator. Okay, how to solve these type of the problems if they are given? Friends, you have to remember main thing is what they are given left side. In the left side what you are observing? First one is del. Next one del dot. Third one is r bar. Fourth one is r. If you know this knowledge and what is the del dot of bracket? Del of bracket. If you have idea then you can do very easily. Okay. So first we have to discuss about that one. You see friends del is nothing but vector differential operator. Del is equal to i into dou by dou x plus j into dou by dou y plus k into dou by dou z. So you can say del is a vector. Okay. Next one. This is also write as summation i into dou by dou x. If you split this term then you can get i into dou by dou x plus j into dou by dou y plus k into dou by dou z. Instead of that you can also write a summation of i into dou by dou x in three dimensional space. In two dimensional space only ij terms will be occur. Okay. Not a k equation. Right. Next one. Uh, what about the r and the r bar? Friends, r bar is a vector. So, we can denote with uh, x a plus y j plus z k. We are denoting r bar. Next one, we have a r. r is nothing but square root of x square plus y square plus z square. And one of the important you have to know that is a uh, what about the dou r bar by dou x and dou r by dou x. We have a dou r bar by dou x is i. Friends, you observe if you are differentiating on both sides with respect to x, what will happen? Left side is the dou r by dou x, right side is what will happen? x into here uh, with respect to x. So, 1 into i, i. What about y? Uh, what about this term? Here you have x term? No, this is y term. So, independent of x. So, you can treat this is a constant, constant derivative 0. Here also it does not have x term. So, this derivative is 0. So, dou r bar by dou x is i. Similarly, dou r bar by dou y j. Dou r bar by dou z is k. Next one, you require dou r by dou x. You know that root derivative 1 by 2 root into inner derivative. So, 1 by 2 into root of this bracket into inner derivative is 2x with respect to x. So, I am finding dou r by dou x is and I am getting dou r by dou x is x by r. Okay. If you know these values, we can do very easily this term. Moreover, you have to understand one thing. Friends, del gives a vector. Del gives what? Vector. Del dot, del dot f bar. Because del is a vector, so you can apply uh, for the scalar directly but for the vector you cannot uh, apply directly in that case we have to go for a scalar product or vector product vector product means del cross f bar vector product gives again a vector result but uh, uh, here uh, del dot f bar vector into vector del is a vector again this is a vector dot products gives what scalar so here you observe inside the bracket which gives dot product gives what dot product gives a scalar okay you have to remember you are getting a scalar first what about the inside? Uh, pi is a scalar. So, final result you have to get a vector. So, you have right side part vector or not? Yes. If you are understanding up to this, then you can do these type of the problems. Whatever it may be, they are given very easily you can do. Right. Now, coming to the solution. First, I am doing inside of the bracket. Okay. Now, del dot r bar by r cube. I know del, how can I write it? Actually, summation i into dou by dou x. But here you have a dot product dot product you have so I can add summation i dot dou by dou x of r bar by r yes or no here you have a uh, inside of the bracket what you have like u by v rule u by v rules you can apply for the differentiation directly yes you know the denominator into numerator derivative minus numerator into denominator derivative by denominator square so now I am doing that one you see first summation is summation i dot inside I am doing you see denominator is r into dou r bar by dou x. First step I am writing, later I will do, uh, okay, dou r bar by dou x, right. Next, denominator into numerator derivative minus numerator is r bar into denominator derivative dou r by dou x divided by, uh, what about the denominator? r. So, denominator square. So, friends, you observe, here what you required, you have to know dou r bar by dou x. That is the reason only, first one, uh, in starting only I explained. Next, dou r by dou x also we required. Now you substitute these two values in this equation. Then what you are getting? Summation i dot uh, r is r. Dou r bar by dou x is what? i. So r into i minus r bar into dou r by dou x is what? Dou r by dou x is x by r. Right. 
divided by what you have r square now you split this one then you are getting summation i dot friends here you observe r i divided by r square minus summation i dot r bar into x by r whole divided by r square so now you have to simplify this i am doing here you see friends this is equal to now i dot i is what i dot i is 1 so summation r by r square means 1 by r so write down summation 1 by r minus here you have i dot what you can apply i dot actually i dot i i dot j i dot k or you can apply for uh, vectors but here you have uh, how can I simplify you see denominator uh, here you have r again denominator is containing r square so you can write uh, first uh, I am writing summation i i x x i plus y j plus z k you have no? so write down x i dot r bar can I write like this in the numerator r bar is there x i is there if I return uh, i into r bar into x can I get anything no but x i if I take in summation x i if you split then you will have r okay that is the reason I have written divided by here you have r again denominator is containing r square so I can write a r cube now this is equal to summation 1 by r okay I will uh, write letter uh, or I can split letter now here x i means what r bar r bar dot r bar by what r cube so uh, summation 1 by r minus here you observe friends what you have here r bar dot r bar means what r square by what r cube so now i am splitting summation one bar how can i write it here uh, r is containing how many variables x y z three variables so you can write three by r minus r square by r cube means one by r sorry here you have to write x equal symbol so three by r minus one bar means two by r so this is the solution of what inside of the bracket inside you have a del dot r bar by r square r is a scalar r bar is a vector so you can get this part is a vector into scalar gives a vector dot product of the two vectors gives what scalar yes i got the scalar what is the value 2 by r now here what i have to do del del is a vector can i multiply del and uh, scalar directly yes you can do directly in that case what you are getting the result vector so what you have to get this vector you have to get now we need to find out which value del of 2 by r value okay now i am going to solve that one you see so friends i have written del dot r bar by r value is 2 by r uh, already we did this one okay now i am finding a uh, del of uh, uh, 2 by r we know that uh, del is a vector differential operator that is a uh, you can uh, directly summation i into dou by dou x of here whatever you have okay now this is i can write summation i into into means here not dot product and cross product directly i am doing because 2 is a scalar means 2 is a constant r is a scalar so scalar into constant gives again a scalar that is the reason we are doing a gradient here so this is a dou by dou x of 2 by r okay now friends summation i is i you can write 2 outside okay now 1 by r derivative minus 1 by r square into inner derivative dou r by dou x you already know that uh, dou r bar by dou x is equal what i dou r by dou x is equal what x by r okay now uh, here 2 I can write outside minus also I can write outside now summation i by r square what about the dou r by dou x you have x by r write down x by r so if you split this minus 2 by r cube I can write outside next summation x i we know that uh, r bar is equal to x i plus y j plus z k simply you can write summation what x i okay so this summation x i I can replace it by what r bar so minus 2 r bar by r cube is the final result are you getting same answer or not yes we are getting is it clear for everyone right thank you for watching this video